Today is Father's Day, so you know I'm going to cook an extra special meal for Mr. Thompson. And I kind of wanted to show you guys because it's the end of the month and the truth is that depending on your pay cycle as well as how you shop, you may not have a lot of things in your kitchen and your refrigerator um, to prepare a really nice meal as well as a good looking meal because you know food must look good. Um, but the truth is that you can use all the things that are in your refrigerator to cook something very creative, very quick and very easy. And uh, I'm going to show you what I'm using today. I literally have one corn left in the refrigerator and I'm going to use that with some pumpkin and carrots. Stuff like that to make some juice and whatever I'm cooking else. So Alright, so I have a small piece of carrot. Clean. Oh, Everything is cleaned up already. Um, and a small piece of pumpkin. I'm going to use these for juice with oh. a little coffee. I'll show you that later. Um, using some chia seed as well. You know me, I put chia seed in almost everything. And this is for my salad. I'm going to use some kind of milk. Use whatever milk you have um, to add to the juice or the punch. And that's my chia seed soaking right there. Because I like when it's soaked. Because it gives you a thicker, you know, smoother kind of texture when it's soaked. Um, and then I have chicken that I was seasoning earlier and it's, still, it's there now so all i did was just put a little piece of tomato on it some hot peppers um and regular seasoning but this here where is it this is like my favorite the maggie fish seasoning i know it's not fish cooking it's really chicken i'm just making some barbecue chicken but i'm telling you like i use the seasoning on almost everything maggie thank you all right so i'm going to um the peas is on the stove because i'm making some rice and peas Right, so um, I'm going to steam the pumpkin and the carrot just a little bit um, so that I can blend it, you know, put it in the blender and the corn will be used for the salad. Alright, so um, just put the thing there. I have a little oil there. If you don't want to use oil, that's okay. Oh, that's not ready. If I steam it, it is ready, I'll put the sauce on it. What I'm doing right now is making the barbecue sauce. Um, use what you have, right? You can get a little thyme to sprinkle on it. Um, grate some ginger in it. Add some vinegar. Add a little ketchup if you want or tomato paste if you have the original tomato paste. Or you can make it on your own. Crush the tomatoes. And, uh, and sugar, right? If you don't want to use sugar, you can use a little... Um, honey, you know, because we're not trying to. So, this is just um, some turmeric and ginger grated, right? Because you wanted to get that zing. And depending on how you like your barbecue sauce, um, you know, you can make it as tangy as possible. I like it really tangy. Good. So, when all of this comes together, you sprinkle it. Remember, you know, you're using what you have, we're using what we have. Good. All right, so um, there's pumpkin and chia seeds in the processor because um, I like my juice with a little pulp um, and the skin is left on the pumpkin because of the nutrients and that's fine. Yeah. All right, so I'm putting the carrots that I kind of steamed earlier. That's not enough for sure. All right, and I'm going to add some mango, you know, the seed. <laughs> As I said, I just take them right off the seed. And put in this dish here so there's no butter in this all right so i just put in the milk in it you don't have to put milk in it you can just probably sweeten it with a little sugar or just have it just like that but i'm putting a little milk and as soon as i press it all of that will go out so you can use coconut milk whichever milk you like or just no milk at all so, and my favorite this is my favorite ingredient just a little toops of coffee um this is the brand i use because it's really good um just a small amount i'm gonna put in here because it gives it a you know taste that's just good it tastes really good so, all right so that's what it looks like with um the second batch that i just made so i'm gonna put everything together in the jug now so i use chia seed in almost everything listen it's packed with you know a, a whole lot of fiber as well as you know there's iron and calcium but it's good and this is 
the more you use and the longer you soak it, it's the thicker it gets. So depending on how thick you want the punch to be. I normally add oats to it as well, but because I wanted it just to be a little light today, you know, um, I didn't put any oats. But if you want to put oats in here, it's fine. But the longer you soak the oats and the chia seed together, the thicker your punch is or your juice or your green juice is, depending. Alright, so that's it. Um, so it's not too thick. And you can see some, like a few small little pieces of pumpkin and that's okay i'm a firm believer that whatever i am um, whatever i eat i can drink so i can blend almost anything probably only meat i wouldn't blend and drink but i mean anything you eat you can drink as well so um the chia seeds are what you're seeing swirling around and it's just it's gonna taste really really good this is not a special father's day drink i make this for him all the time so can try it at home all right so um the juice is cooling so you can make the salad um, i already cut up my vegetables and all of that shred them or whatever you want to do so as i said earlier it's the end of the month my butter is finished but i have a small amount in there so what i'm doing now is just adding some um warm water with the coconut milk to make the sauce for the salad if you don't want to use mayonnaise or i love mayo but you know trying to live as healthy as possible so if you don't want mayo it's okay all right so um as you can see i kind of sliced that whole corn that i started with kind of you know put it into thin slices and um, because i'm going to put it on the salad and i'm going to use the coconut milk dressing that i just made to pour on it um if you want to add a little sugar to your dressing and a little vinegar um you can what will happen is that it will give you a nice sour cream kind of taste for your dressing and yeah um when you put it on the plate it's not gonna look like this but um i use wax paper because it's less clean up for me all right and this is the final result basically what i have made is my sunflower salad with you know just rice and peas traditional jamaican rice and peas with some barbecue chicken and this is another hack if it is that you have no um piping bag or whatever that other bag is called to make to put your dressing into you know kind of put it on your salad nicely just use a ziplock bag a clean ziplock bag and you can go ahead with it you're not going to see the salad in its full because you know it's clear because it's coconut milk right but it tastes really really good and for the chicken if you have no basil or any other you know of those finishing greens to push put on your chicken to make it look really really nice simply just get a small piece of pak choy leaf and just cut it up really really fine you know dice it or whatever i don't know if you dice it but you cut it up really really small and sprinkle on the chicken for presentation because it looks nice if my family we eat raw food so it's okay to eat the pak choy just like that but if it's just for decoration you can let them know that right so that's the um orange punch which includes um contains basically mango carrot pumpkin and some kind of milk but that's coconut milk but if you want to use coffee cream or if you don't have any other thing or plain milk honestly whatever you want to use and it goes really um nicely along with your food and you know you can serve them in a really big glass because it's father's day so the special punch glass and that's the finished meal basically enjoy with your families happy father's day fathers god bless you